afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Rio here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm actually going to do a quick discussion here on what the difference between line and column formation is. And I have a few written diagrams here that I'm super excited to show you because I worked very hard on them. But just to summarize, line formation is what you initially fall in at, and column formation is when you've got the element leaders as that first row of people. Okay, and I know that, that, that doesn't sound like too crazy a concept, but I didn't learn about that until I was way into my cadet career, a little bit later than I probably should have known, probably. Uh, but just as a quick reminder, if you have not watched my previous video on the different drill symbols, please feel free to check that one out. It is in the iCard somewhere in, in the top of the screen. And also there is this lovely cadet drill guide available online that you can use as a resource if you do not have a hard copy and it's available in the description down below. So we've got some diagrams here and I will explain each of these things. So there's a line formation before and after the flight sergeant has reported to the flight commander and then there's column formation. And you'll notice there are the symbols that I talked about from last time. So just as a reminder, this symbol right here underneath the word line is the flight sergeant and the flight sergeant moves to this side of the flight. So there's the element leaders on this side and then the flight sergeant goes over here after they report to the flight commander. And the reason why the flight commander is six paces in front is because like during opening formation, like for example, the flight commander will be over here, they'll just kind of be chilling, and then they will go up in front of that flight sergeant. The flight sergeant does not move. They go three paces beyond where that flight sergeant is, and then they go over and they get the report from them directly. Great, right? So that's why it's six paces versus three paces. And then when you actually turn and you're about to do your movements and everything, then you're centered in the flight, one, and two, you are a nice space away from them just so that when they are doing movements, then you can be in a good spot for that. So let's talk a little bit about how you go from line formation to column formation. So as I mentioned, you're first fallen in by the flight sergeant. Flight sergeant says flight fallen and you fall in the element leader, they, they get their adjustment, they get their spacing away from the flight sergeant first, they do three paces, and they've got their spot, they do their about face, and then they do that automatic dress right dress, and the el other element leaders fall in immediately behind them, and then their element leader, or their element members, I should say, fall in, and you're doing it by the column, right? Um, or, or like when, when you're facing forward, it's, it's front to back, front to back, front to back, front to back. And that's how it, you're really supposed to be falling in. And after you've done that, you are in your line formation. Okay, that's what's called line formation. And I know I just used the word column just a second ago, but that's, that's because like you're, you're in, in those rows of people. Anyway, so after you've fallen in to line formation, you just do a right face, guess what? You're in column formation now. And the way you know that you're in column formation is because those first few people who are in that first row in front, the people who are leading the column, they are the element leaders. They're, the, they're supposed to be the most experienced people who are in your flight, and they should know the different drill maneuvers. And as you go across the element, then people may be less experienced. So, that's what this is. So basically, this this flight commander, they would say right face, and then the 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 element members will be facing to the right, and you can do your column movements. Now, that's why you want to be in column formation when you're doing column movements or column of the files from the right. So. Whenever you're doing those movements, it's important that you know when you need to be in column formation and when you can just be in line formation. Like you can do a flank in line formation and column formation, but when you're doing columns, you need to be having your element leaders in those front positions. 
And that is why when you have drill tests, a lot of times they just immediately say fall in and then right face because you're immediately in that column formation. And that is the proper formation for a lot of drill maneuvers that you're going to be doing especially like extend and close march, which are super confusing. Those people who are in the front, the element leaders, they're supposed to know how to do those movements and the people in the back can follow suit. So that does it for this video, everyone. I will just show you one last time. So this is what line formation will look like when you've got the flight sergeant and the flight commander, like the flight sergeant following everyone in and then after the report. And then this is what the column formation looks like. And the flight commander, they, they could be in this position right where the little dotted line is right here. If you're ever doing like a squadron movement, like if you're doing, oh, I don't know, an encampment passing review, then the flight commander is going to be located there. But if they're just commanding the flight on their own, then they're going to be located there. So if you got any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And that is all, folks. Until next time. Toodles.